Virgo, hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 17th to the 23rd of January 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. So let's see what we've got here. Virgo. Princess of Swords, ready to take action this week. Okay, bring it on. <laughs> Whatever the week has here, let's get going. Past energies, you had the Ace of Wands, the Universe, Eight of Pen Eight of Cups, sorry. Just to show you, I was going to say Pentacles. Okay, but some sort of whole new chapter, some sort of whole new journey here. There's an emotional attachment that's been able to be walked away from, that's been holding you back here. But divine timing, that timing is happening for a reason and back there in the past may have been that timing to leave something or someone behind here to focus on a whole new journey. Present energies, Princess of Cups, Transition, the Chariot. Could be dealing with Scorpio or Cancer here, but this love on offer, whether you're offering love, someone's offering love to you, you're ready to leave that past in the past and focus on where this energy is moving forward, this whole new chapter here. Could be an existing relationship, it may be somebody extremely brand new. Overall though, bring it on, you may be ready for this. Future energies, you've got the Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Deceiver. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but bringing an end to this burden of feeling like you're on this journey on your own. Possibly this negative energy that has been happening here, but keeping the communication flowing. Everyone on the same page, decisions that do need to be made quickly, but bringing an end to that cycle of being on that journey on your own. Because possibly from here there is somebody on that journey with you and that may break free from these bindings here with the devil or deceiver there so virgo let's clarify all of these see what's going on Starting with this Princess of Swords, ready to get things going. Two of Swords, the Fool, Knight of Swords. Mm, maybe same, look before you leap. Don't go rushing into things. Slow down and think things through carefully. Take the blindfold off and even though you're ready to take that chance and that risk, that leap of faith, so take the blindfold off. Slow down first and... Um, before taking that leap of faith there. Past energies, Ace of Wands. You have the Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords. Yeah, confidence and determination to go after your dreams here. There's a lot of communication that may have been um, miscommunication. Not everyone had the full story here. And um, it kind of brought in this deceptive energy that you weren't being told 100% um, everything up front. And actually leaving that behind, walking away from that deceptive energy, because you have that Eight of Cups over here as well. But um, you wanted this whole new chapter, but might not have had the whole story there. Got the Universe with the Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups, Three of Wands, yeah, and I think that was that wake up moment, you actually realised, okay, somebody's not giving me the full story here. Um, you're exploring your options, quite happy to look at all of these, not being overwhelmed by them and having that clarity around the opportunities that are available back there. You're proud of how far you've come emotionally, the universe is there, as I said, divine timing, but... Um, that universe may be there as well, now presenting you with all these options. And the Eight of Cups in the past, Virgo, had Ace of Swords, look at that, Five of Cups, Two of Wands. Yeah, going through some sort of emotional loss and grief, just because you walk away from some sort of attachment, whether it's someone or something, it doesn't mean that you can just switch things off just like that. It is clearing the crap out from the past, 
when you're in the past energies to focus on this whole fresh new start and always say don't let others tell you to hurry up and move on everybody does this in their own time and own way but you do have this focus of where you do want to be heading towards and what needs to be left behind in order to start that journey present energies princess of cups you get the three of pentacles king of pentacles two of pentacles could be dealing with another earth sign another virgo taurus or capricorn but stepping up into the spotlight here getting things back into balance and alignment it's been a constant pull in different directions and now getting that balance back into place that inundated with success may be quite overwhelming here but it all came from that planning that was put in place and just getting control of a situation there again into transition princess of swords which you have overall for the week ace of wands king of cups and again yeah ready to take action here let's get going leaving that past in the past you may be waiting for an apology you may be waiting a long time focusing on this whole new chapter that lies ahead being in control of your emotions gets things moving full steam ahead here brilliant and that chariot talking about moving judgment knight of wands ten of cups yeah keeping an open mind towards where this chariot is actually heading towards um it may be a roller coaster ride but um you're willing to have that stability um and see this through but it's still saying keep an open mind towards that journey um where it can actually lead you there's a lot of emotional love and happiness here a lot of support around you and it may be flooding in here um but that all helps balance this chariot energy out and keeps moving things forward. Future energies, Ten of Wands. You've got the Hierophant, Nine of Swords, the Sun. Yeah, an end to the sleepless nights, that burden and this um, stress that's been going on. You may have been caving to a lot of peer pressure that others have been putting on you and it's now just standing up, following your own heart, following your gut instinct here and being able to move forward and leave that cycle behind you. And you look what you're moving forward into. Can't get much better than that. All the happiness and joy that's falling into place there. A sense of freedom and release, possibly from that peer pressure, from those sleepless nights and from that stress and burden there. Love that. Eight of Wands, Virgo, you get Knight of Pentacles, Princess of Wands, Princess of Pentacles. And then you get, no matter how, <laughs> moving into this, no matter how slow it is, Snail's Pace Energy. Eight of Wands, that you clarify and talks about making quick decisions, being very clear and everyone on the same page. Um, and then you have the Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving energy ever. But it may be just to gather your thoughts here. There's compassionate giving energy. There's an offer of some sort here. Could be a new job, um, moving to a new town. Could be a relationship of some sort. But um, making sure everyone's on that same page, but it may be slowing the energy down a bit while you gather your thoughts around this. And the deceiver, wheel of fortune. Love that, seven of pentacles, eight of swords. A lot of hard work, a lot of detours needed and breaking free from that negative energy that seems to be blocking you here. But you do have that wheel of fortune. That energy is moving forward, um, moving forward freely. Um, you're putting in that hard work, as I said. You're ready to take these detours if something is trying to still block you from moving forward and on to bigger and better things with that wheel of fortune. Doesn't have to be financial, it could be, but um, just bigger and better things there brilliant love it so virgo let's see what the universe has to say princess of pentacles again prince of pentacles which is the same as this knight of pentacles and strength so both of these energies in that clarification down there for the eight of wands have come out here with the universe and strength could be dealing with a leo but there is this offer being made as we said but um, 
it may be a very slow process and getting things moving, getting things off the ground. It takes strength to slow things down and it takes strength at times to actually um, look at these offers and take that time out to, to explore what they actually do or are able to bring. So we're talking about slowing things down overall for the week. Knight of Swords in the full before you go rushing into things or taking that leap of faith, slowing it down. So let's see what the Star Temple has to say. That one there. Love it. You get number one. You are number one. The Ancient Grandmother Teacher. I am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge. Lessons learned here. Lessons learned possibly to slow things down. <laughs> So that's what I have for you. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.